Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and I'm here with a very quick and easy tutorial on how to set up a multi-monitor setup. Now, right now, as you can see, I have three monitors plugged up and ready to go. Now, if you're wanting to run a dual or triple monitor setup, the first thing you need to do is decide what kind of output you're gonna go with. Monitors come with a wide range of outputs. Most modern monitors come with DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort outputs. DVI is a little bit older, so you don't see that as often, but a lot of older monitors come with things like VGA or DVI, for example. That is definitely a more older connector but you do have to make sure that the graphics output on the back of your computer will support whatever monitor you have you can always buy adapters like hdmi to dvi or display port to hdmi if you need to do so and it's a very common thing to do and i'll leave some link in the description down below to the most common adapters but you first have to make sure you have everything working to plug up your monitor to your desktop the same goes for a laptop, but I'm not really discussing laptops in the video because most of the time you have to get adapters for laptops to work. Maybe we'll do a video on that later. Comment down below if you're interested. But we're gonna make this super quick and easy for those who are new to the PC space. Now, once you have all the monitors plugged in the back of the computer, you should have a signal out on both monitors like I have right here. But what you need to do is make sure that they are aligned properly. As you can see right here, there's this grid array, which if I hit identify, you can see which screen is which. This is one, this is two, we'll do it again, and this is three. So you can see this is what my monitors look like. Now you might be wondering why this monitor is in a vertical orientation. Well, it's because it is in a vertical orientation. It is in portrait mode, which is a different way to run a monitor so you have more vertical height for things like text. Um, a lot of programmers use this if they're doing long lines of code. So I like to have it for Twitch chat, which is really useful for stuff like that. But regardless, what we're going to do is show you how to reorganize it. So as you can see right now, I can easily, well, kind of easily move things from this monitor to this monitor, and then from here over to here. But all you really have to do to make them do whatever you want them to do is reorganize them. So if I want this monitor to be on the left side, which if it physically is on the left side, you want to do that, all I have to do is move it to where I have right now, hit apply, and then I can just start moving stuff from here to here. So I'll show you right now. We'll hit apply there, and then boom, watch this. There you go, see? It just moves left into there. So that's not where I want it to be because obviously I have the monitor right above me. So we're gonna put it back to where it was. And you can see now I can now move this up and down without any problems whatsoever. So that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to set up a dual monitor setup. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can. But this is the start of a series where I'm gonna be doing a bunch of quick and easy tutorials for those getting new into the PC hardware space and wanna know things like setting up dual monitors, how to do basic overclocking, things like that. If you have any suggestions for videos in the future, comment down below. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.